your tech smart. And that does it for the news at 10. Next on the KTLA 5 News at 11, your top stories, including search efforts ramped up tonight as family and friends plead for help finding a missing local woman who went missing after ordering a lift ride. We're going to have a live report on that. And how about this? Living out a surfer's dream. Mark Mester giving us an inside look at Kelly Slater's Surf Ranch. That's next at 11. Now at 11, a young college student missing for nearly a week now after ordering a lift ride. The local family that is pleading for answers in the search for their loved one. Plus, renewed calls to shut down Santa Anita Racetrack after a 30th horse died during training this weekend. We'll tell you about the protests and demands to ban the sport. And communities still living in fear tonight as another day goes by with the threat of ice raids still looming. The protests to stop the deportations now at 11. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Chambers. And I'm Christina Pascucci. And for Courtney Friel, we're starting right now with immigrant activists who are not letting their guard down, even though President Trump delayed a plan to deport undocumented families across the nation. Yeah, though it's been pushed back already, they say the threat is still very real, as the president could change his mind at any moment. Carlos Sassetto, live in downtown L.A., has got more on this. Carlos? That's right. These immigration raids were supposed to start early this morning, but they never happened. That's because they were delayed two weeks and the threat remains. We're here today to remember 